All right, guys, today we're gonna to talk about Cambridge, Massachusetts, why it's a place so many people love to call home. Let's jump in. All right, guys, so let's jump right into pricing to see if Cambridge makes sense financially for you. I'll put the numbers up here. These are the median sale prices per bedroom in Cambridge in 2023. We'll start off with a one bed. The median sale price for a one bed was just over $650,000. A two bed was just over $900,000. A three bed was just under $1.4 million. And a four bed was just under $2.3 million. There you have it, there are the numbers. So one of the first pillars of Cambridge is location. I mean, it's right next to Boston. You're still getting a city feel with the density, with incredible walkability, restaurants, shops, coffee shops, everything you could imagine. Um, but with a little more of that quiet feel, you can find a little quieter road to live on. So kind of have the best of both worlds and being just outside the city, prices are a hair more affordable. They're still very expensive in Cambridge, but a hair more affordable when you contrast that to some of the places that are actually in the city. So overall, you really couldn't ask for better location outside of actual Boston, Cambridge, is it? So one of the next great things about Cambridge is its tea access. With it being a very dense area, you have a lot of different tea points. You have Kendall MIT, Leechmere, you have Central, you have Harvard, you have Alewife. You're even really close to Porter and some of Somerville's tea stops. So really, if you are living anywhere in Cambridge, you're more than likely a 10 minute walk to a train. So it has really good tea access and just being our overall dense city offers a lot of stuff really close by. So one of the reasons Cambridge is so expensive is due to the same reason a lot of cities are expensive. There are an incredible amount of high paying jobs in this area. The biotech industry is booming. There's a lot of startups, a lot of the big tech companies, the big giants, have hubs in Cambridge or very close by. So there is a ton of opportunity in that area. There is a ton of jobs in that area. And those job sectors, like the biotech world, are growing sectors. So we have people moving here for those jobs, getting high paid jobs, getting these great salaries and willing to pay these high prices in the area. Now to make housing matters even worse, you have colleges like Harvard, MIT, there's over 40,000 full-time students in the area. That just adds to the housing shortage and makes it really just a, such a strong area when it comes to housing. Now, I think Cambridge is a real interesting purchase for a long-term hold, especially if you're thinking about buying something for the short term and then maybe turning it into a rental property long-term because one of the great things about Cambridge is it's incredibly low taxes. Even Somerville, which is right next door, pays about twice as much in taxes. It's one of the top 15 lowest tax towns in the entire state. In 30 years from when you purchase, if your mortgage is paid off, you know, and you have the same house in Somerville at the same price, you're going to be paying a lot less money in Cambridge and having better cash flow if you're renting that property out. Now, because there's low taxes, we've actually seen a lot of people who are getting into their 60s or early 70s and are getting into a retirement mode and they've wanted to move back into cities, but not as intense as Boston and dense and as expensive, but they want a lot of walkability, places to eat, coffee shops, and they also really care about their monthly number, what they're spending. Some of these retirees are selling their place in the suburbs, buying a place all cash in Cambridge, with very little taxes per year so they can have their number really down. And everyone knows more about health nowadays, that walking's great for you. So some of these retirees are moving back to areas like Cambridge where there's great walkability. So you have retirees, you have college students in the area, you have an incredible tech scene, you have startups that are continuing to grow in the whole biotech industry. So all of these people just converging on this one area has made it an area that's in high demand and price is sky high. So one of the reasons taxes are so low in Cambridge is because you have the startups, you have the big tech companies, and all these big companies are paying taxes that help keep the city in, in great shape and, and give it the fund and the monies it needs to stay in order. So that just requires less from the actual people living in it, which is one of the big benefits when you're looking at a place, especially long-term, taxes are that one number you're never getting back. 
Cambridge is also a very walkable, very outdoor friendly neighborhood when it's in season. There are over 80 parks in Cambridge. You'll never run out of things to do in Cambridge and overall I think it's a fantastic place for a lot of people to live. If you're looking for something very close to Boston, having that city feel, incredible walkability, and a place that's pretty family friendly as well. So. I would check it out. Um, feel free to check out my Somerville video too. And if you're swinging through Cambridge, check out Somerville as well. I know a lot of my clients that look to buy in one of those options also look in the other. So they kind of have a fair number of overlap when it comes to similarities. Hope this helped you make your decision. And yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to DM and we hope you find the right place.